Oh, there it is. Banana Finds is live. It's like Memorex. It's live. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. Today, I have Eric Weber and Dusty Graham helping me along here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> basically, I'm just going to show everything that I bought today. I spent a total of $360 at an estate sale. And um, anyone else want to add anything before we rip into this? Are we live? <laughs> Come on, Felicia. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, the beginning delays. We're still trying to get this thing figured out. Uh, Jason and I aren't used to going live, so I go here. live once every six months, and I literally we're screen sharing and trying to figure it out. I'm like, I have no clue what's going on. Yeah, um, we we'll figured it out though. Yep. Jason said we weren't allowed to see his hall unless we went live with him anyway. So it was kind of kind of blackmailed into doing this. That's right. I didn't want to show it twice, you know. <laughs> Once is enough. Yep, well, we're ready. So we're all set. I'm gonna like get my camera into position here. A little bit more position. Yep. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Cross shot. As I just dropped a picture on the other side. Okay. All right. That looks good, right? Yeah. Actually, perfect. All right. So we have a little. Steam engine. It's a Whedon. Has a little plaque on it. Whedon. How do you spell that? W e d e n. W e d e n or w e e. Weed, as in smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> All righty. Oh, okay, there it is. Cute little uh, guy. Yeah. Yeah. A lot it's of different variations on that. It's missing the stack, um, but the glass is still intact over here. So, I it's probably. I mean, what'd you pay for it? Well, oh, as I was saying before, it was three sixty for the entire haul. Um, it was on the last day, so it was kind of running fifty percent off everything. Um, plus, I got a little bit of an extra bonus discount at the end, so it's hard to say exactly what I spent. Uh, the tag on this says fifty, so it was probably, you know, well, maybe. 20. Somebody's asking 25 for the same model. Or I mean, I'm not 25. I'm sorry, sorry, asking 100 for the same model. Uh, looks like somebody sold one really similar without the stack for about 99 bucks. So, so you went. So you went to the last day of an estate sale just to see what you could get. Yeah, I saw it on the first day. It was advertised for actually Thursday, which is a little odd. Usually they're Friday. Um, but it was mostly um, newer, old stock tools. Um, you know, I don't usually deal in that kind of stuff, mostly contractor stuff. So I really didn't want to go on the first day because um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really excite me that much. I'm more into the vintage stuff. But I figured I'd go there on the last day and clean up whatever was left. And uh, I think it did okay. Gotcha. Right. You may want to, since he's going to be doing all the showing, he may want to click around the square, come back over to your computer screen and oh, the square that has you so it'll stay frozen on you and quit following my voice and Eric's voice. Forgot about that. It's been so long. Yes, I like being just a little tiny box. All right. I haven't had a shower today, so I'm pretty sure i got cream or hair going on. But Next we have going, 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 going. It's the flea market auction game. Kind of a weird little. I, it just put a cool box on. I just had to get this. <laughs> if if I had that game, I could learn how to sell on eBay. That's right. And it even has the little gavel. So, oh man, it just broke apart. <laughs> That's funny. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. I was just buying this just for the cover art. Really, I was going to hang it on the shelf somewhere. Yeah, really, it's, I mean, it's not worth anything, really. No, no, I didn't think so. Can I hear you toss it across the room into the metal trash can there, Eric Jr.? <laughs> That's only if you've got a really pathetic offer on it. Remember when you get so tired of getting the same crap offer over and over again? All right, so far we're not doing too good. I showed two items and broke one. <laughs> this is great. All yeah, right. but you're up about 300% uh, on the first item, so you're good. <laughs> Next, we have what's in... Let's make a deal. What's in the case? Have you opened it? Oh. Uh, what 
is that? Is that that worm drive? It, it's one of those uh, old fashioned. Black and Decker. Uh, you know, the old, uh, you know, oh. chisel hammer kind of things. Oh, okay. It's been a long time since I actually had one of these. I don't even know what it's worth, but it was so cool and vintage. I love how this old stuff looks. Is there a bottom number on it? It's heavy. Love it. Uh, there it is, but it's pretty scratched off. Yeah, I can't read it. 6208? No, that one's electric, not pneumatic. Um. Yeah, it has hammer tools, star drills. Yeah. I'm seeing asking of that generation, same generation of 109 plus fifty dollars shipping. That is how heavy. How heavy is that thing? That's a nineteen oh, heavy. Five. It's quite heavy. In fact, if you want to be exact, just for the hell of it, it's <laughs> ten pounds four ounces. <laughs> it comes with some oil. It comes with a few doodads. Oh, and here's the the what do you call it? Chisel. Chisels. Thank you. There's a bunch in there. Hey, I got some. Was, uh, how big? What? It, they had they had four different models back in 1945 when that thing was introduced. Yeah, I really can't make it out. I mean, it looks like the last letters are 103. Looks like there might be some letters before that. It's a type D. Pretty cool. I, you know, I, I, somebody's selling an ad for like 13 bucks for them. So. It's got a catalog number. It's a 103. With one of three type one. Over. Somebody sold one in the box for twenty seven dollars local pickup, and not near as nice a shape as yours. And you paid how much? Uh, this one has a tag of forty bucks on it, so it was like twenty. Like I said, it was even a little less off the top after everything was done. So these right. prices really aren't going to make that much sense. Cool. I like the case. Yeah. Next, we got something from my actual childhood. I had one of these as a kid, and I absolutely loved it. Oh, sandbox, sandblock makers, right? The ice and sand. Oh, they one's ice and one's sand, actually, right? Yeah. Oh no, they're they're actually both. Wow. Oh. It does ice on this side, and it does sand on this side. <laughs> But I've never seen these with the little shovels before, so I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, I don't wow. think it's really much, but I had, I'm had i going to keep one just for my child's when it, when it snows there again, are you going to make a video and make snow blocks for us? If you want, Dusty, I will. <laughs> Nobody's got them with the shovels, and they sell for about $15, $18 without the shovels. Oh, okay, cool. Like I said, I'm definitely going to keep one. Oh. Here is a little tiny um, tire keychain. I thought this was so neat. Just because, um, what tire company has a little tire there? It says American Motorsports, and it, the tire is Firestone. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was cute. It was like a freebie, and these were pretty much free too. I got all these pocket protector hilties. Ah, okay. Neat. There's uh, four, five, six. There's eight of them. The keychain's about fifteen bucks. Oh, cool! This was a freebie too. This is a, a little advertising piece with um, temperature. Oh, and it's uh, also, if I'm not mistaken, this is like an old carpenter's uh, like square type of thing. All right. Next, we have this very cool, overly elongated paint can. Yeah. And I remember these, I, I paid $10 for this whole lot. These are um, tube benders. Okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, just 20 of them. Uh, they're plumbing tubing vendors. They're about 20 bucks a pop. Nah, they can't be. These are like low end Chinese grade. I would think yeah, that's, not, yeah, that's what you're getting about 20 bucks a pop for. Wow. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to argue. <laughs> Yeah, the problem is you have to compete with the Chinese food uh, thing, but yeah. Uh, uh, All right. Next, we have this extremely large box. I counted it. There's 36 in here. These are bombers. They say. Hey, you know what the difference is between a between an oral thermometer and a rectal thermometer? The thermometer. The Sorry, the needle's in the way. It says thermometer. <laughs> I don't know you sent that joke the other day. Oh, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a candy thermometer, is it? What's it go up to? Goes up to 140. They're made by Powers, made in the USA. It's got a little clip there. I mean, That's up to 140 Fahrenheit? Yes. I've never made candy, so I don't know. That seems really low, though. It does seem. Well, it's not me. Cause How about wax, maybe? A lot of times I think arts and crafts when I'm, because I'm in, the, you know, buying in the tool sections. Uh, look, I can twirl it like a Seinfeld umbrella. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with rectal thermometer. So um, I, I don't know. I don't know what you'd want that went to 140. What's the low end on it? Um, it is zero. Eight. Well, uh, Jessica, they're by Powers. So it goes from zero. It goes from zero Fahrenheit to 140 Fahrenheit. Correct. I know it could be for anything. Powers. Yeah, Powers is the brand. There's a total of 36 of them on these little original boxes. They're new old stock. The modern number on it, right? What? Isn't there a modern number? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, wait. Yeah, on the side of the box there, it says MT-390. And not having much luck. All right. Well, anyway, I ended up getting these. She just gave these to me for free because she wanted to get rid of them. So I was like, yeah, I'll take it. You know, I think Jessica, Jessica's probably hit it on the head. It's probably HVAC. Um, yeah, that would make sense. Thing. That would make sense in the in the uh, range you're working with. So. Oh, right. Yeah, because most of Jessica Kalinske is so smart. Hey, throw them in the dusty pile. I'm interested if they're cheap enough. She, she is very smart. Lovely girl. Hey, throw them in my pile. I'll make you an offer on them. All right. You know I love bulk stuff. If you don't want to mess with them, because I don't, I don't think they're worth a ton, but. No, that's fine. We're good. Here's a Black & Decker charger. Nice old school uh, charger. That's like old, old school. Is that VersaPak? Uh, VersaPak Pre, pre Versa. Yeah, they were round, but they didn't have the double ones, too. Let me see the, show me the hole, Jason. Fast charger. Oh, you want to see the hole? <laughs> Catalog number 98010. Some old, old, old person right now has... I'll tell you, it's clean as a whistle. ...has a battery pack, and they're going, I can't find a charger anywhere. I actually found a battery pack somewhere. <laughs> 98010, is that what he said? That's what he said. Man, I got... Mm. I got it. It's a one of a kind. Here we go. Here's a. I think it's a 12 volt. Is it a 12 volt lithium? This looks like it's it. See, actually, that's actually nice. You got a, a look like a new old stock battery and charger. Yeah. Is it 12 volt? Fast charger, type 1, 9.6. Yeah. And it fits. 
So that's the one. So I got a battery and charger. I doubt this battery is still good, but I bet you it is. It looks like it doesn't. It's never been used. I remember this was only a dollar, and this says three, so it was a dollar fifty, I guess. Well done. <laughs> uh, this thing, I have no idea what the heck it is. But I like anything in a box. What does it yeah. say? Pneumatic calibration kit by Brett Sticker Authors. By Power Chicago Tools. Powers, isn't that the same company that yeah, did the thermometers? Well, yeah. open it up. it's a 832 163. Has an instruction sheet. I don't know what this is. So apparently, see, got another gauge. Apparently, maybe Powers became Siemens later later on down the road. This is a PSI gauge, and there's another gauge in here. Because I'm seeing a lot of stuff that says Siemens, and in parentheses says Powers, so maybe they bought Powers out. Maybe. Let's see. Well, the manual is... Man, I'm supposed to be listing stuff right now. I thought this was a listing challenge. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Okay, yeah, here's the, wow, uh, the Powers, Siemens Powers 832-177 is the latest version of that, and it's like 250 bucks, and it looks exactly the same, it's got the same stuff in it, it's just newer. So there's a booklet on thermostats here. Yeah, this has to do with thermostats. So you're looking at, uh, yeah, yeah, you probably, probably get 50, 60 bucks out of it. So was this person an HVAC person? Because that may actually help a little bit. Probably. I mean, there's a lot of like general contractor grade stuff, really. Gotcha. Be right back. Yep. All right. Next. Yeah. Two of these Hilti boxes. They're both the same. Yeah, they're both the same. This is one we, we just couldn't find this anywhere. What was it? The yeah, it's a drive tool. It's for, going, it's for putting studs into concrete or, or steel. Yeah. Quarter inch I mean, yeah. I, I would expect to get 20, 25 bucks a piece. The sludge in there is pretty nice and they're in beautiful shape. So. Every time Jason says stud, take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> How about when I say like the? <laughs> I, I just officially gave up on my day. I listed like twenty items. Actually, I need a drink. I need a drink too. <laughs> I'm drinking coffee. I was drinking coffee. All right, I'm out. Next item up. It's a box, and it says nothing inside. That's a uh, flamethrower thing uh, for uh, sweet doing roofing. I think, isn't it? or is it roofing? Or yeah, I would say flamethrower. Yeah, so. It's a Rachel yeah. FH series torches. Fifty bucks if you hook it up right now and turn it on. Looks like it's a FH two six zero one. There's somebody who's got one with a ten foot hose, eighty dash fourteen thirty two. They want forty five bucks for it. It's, for, it's not for plasma cutting, is it? No, it's for uh, usually do it for roofing, uh, where you're heating up the flat roofs and things like that. Yeah. Right. I was seeing some that had model numbers. There were some tips that had started with an FH that said they were for plasma torches. Just next tip. to the dusty special. Just a tip. Four boxes of circuit breakers. By Sold. Put them over there with my rectal thermometer. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I love, you know, I love bulk stuff. That was quick. Oh, I know. I bought them specifically for you. <laughs> Thank you. Here we have another cool charger. This one just looks so friggin' neat. I mean, what a cool vintage style. It's even got the air fins on the back, like an amplifier. Big old heat sinks on the back. What's What was the model on? What kind of was that? This is a Black & Decker. And uh, model number? The bottom. 
Ah, uh, there we go. Computerized 60-minute battery charger. Catalog number 98060. Same model number. That just has a catalog number and a serial number. Yeah, it's, it's going to be the same as that other one, 9.6 volt. Just a different style. Yeah. Know, it's just so neat looking. Those circuit breakers are decent. Yeah. A bunch of drywall fellas. These are new, these two are new in the packages. And then we got three loose ones, two of which are Stanley. I just realized I can type in the side chat. He doesn't have a clue what I'm talking about. Are those for cutting up the bodies, Jason? What? Nothing. Yeah. We got two Weller um, soldering iron kits. These are the little tiny light duty ones. There were about 25 foot cords or something on them? Um, let's see. Actually, yeah, that's like 25 on the front. I was just curious what that meant. Oh, that's watts. 25 watts. Uh, okay. Yeah, the cords don't look that long. So what are you, you going to solder from the other room? I mean. <laughs> All right, we got two of these. Nothing special, but they're new in the package, so but put them in a little lot. You rarely were bottom feeding, weren't you? Yep. <laughs> you know, uh, that Vaco or Vaco brand, I looked it up because I've sold I've sold some of those recently, or either they're still in my inventory. Yeah. But actually those those strippers really aren't bad. Depending on which model numbers they are. What's who made those? Hmm? Back, back, V A C O. I remember no, no, no. the name, so I searched it real quick. No, the, the tips there. Huh? Oh, who's, what's the company name on them? What, are you still back on the wire strippers? Union no, Carbide. Okay. Welding product. Is that what these were? And I think I already sold them. I think I got decent money for them. You get decent money for everything. <laughs> you, should get, you should do all right on those. I mean, the uh, fan tip, I imagine you'd probably get 10 or 20 bucks. Uh, probably 20 bucks for that whole box. Cool. Christy Ninja 007 said Black & Decker or Black & Decker Industrial. Black & Decker Industrial is the professional brand, and they later turned into DeWalt. I didn't know that. There you go. Here's a um, hand punch. It's cool. Not complete, but most of it's there. I have a little rigid pipe wrench number one zero one seven did you know that in 2004 black and decker bought rival power tool manufacturer porter cable and combined it with the wall i knew yeah. that black and decker owned the wall but so it was all three in porter cable too apparently i don't know if it's still that's about 30 bucks new, so maybe that's probably 20 bucks. It's, it's a basin wrench. It's actually new, just without the box. It's never been used. You can tell. Yeah. So we got 28.99 for one in the packaging. Cool. This is another tube bender, but it's a real nice vintage one. The company on it. C O B C O M F G C O Copco. Well, to make up the price on that one. Wow, Stanley Black and Decker owns all kinds of stuff. They do. They we got the quarter cable and crap. Well, apparently Craftsman now. I forgot that one. These are the uh, what do you call it? These die um, crimping type tools. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. What's, is there a brand on that one? Um, no, I don't see a brand. Oh, wait, wait. Made in USA. No, just made in USA. Philip said it looks like a lot of the stuff wasn't used. I wondered if the guy had, like you said, had a company and oh. these were extra tools for his employees and he just kept extra, extras on hand or something. A lot of it was new old stock, like when the sale, a lot of that sold. Um, but there was a lot of it. I mean, they had like rigid pipe cutters and there were like 30 of them in the boxes. So. But that was gone by the time you got there? Yeah, there was one left and I grabbed it. It's right over here. Uh, there were about 30 or so of these there at one time. Oh, nice. All in the boxes. How so, much did you get that one for? Uh, I don't know. She just made up the price. This one wasn't marked. Probably 30 bucks or so. Oh, my God. This was really neat. This is a vintage um, wire stripper. The, you know, nothing. It has the wrench combo tool what's neat is this says bell systems on it and there's a lot of people that collect bell systems tools so might be worth a few bucks what's the what is the tool let me say you have such big hands they're manly uh it's at least ten dollars probably a little bit more yeah it says um just bell systems Nothing else. Let me see the end, like what purpose it, what the, the business, let me see the business end of it. Oh, it's a wire stripper. Oh, it is a wire stripper. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. This is neat too. Oh, it's a tire gauge. gauge. Yeah. It's a tire gauge. Well, you know, that vintage automobile stuff just doesn't sell that much anymore, Jason. Yeah. I know, but I can't pass it up to it. I love it, you know? <laughs> like visors and flag holders and things like that. Yeah, this one was like one of those like freebie things <laughs> that were thrown in. It says a guy that sold like $4,000 worth of visors or whatever it was. <laughs> it was quite a bit. That he paid like $10 for. And then sold me the flag holders and goes, I'm tired of messing with them. I made a killing off of them. I was like, I wish I'd known you, known, known you back when you first got these. I bought a case of them. There were 12 in the case, all new, and they sold. They were from, like, I think the 50s, and they sold between 60 and 100 apiece. Jeez. Yeah, and I, oh, and I paid 10 bucks in the whole box. Yeah, that was awesome. Here's some uh, Vermont drill bits. These are actually cool because they're in the metal case. I don't know if this is complete. I didn't even open it. I yeah, the prices are so cheap. I think you know, even the case is worth money. But this one's complete. I mean, the vintage look and everything. So, and we have a whole package of what do you call it? The wire connectors. The wire knots. Uh, the spade connectors. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The spade. Forgot what you called those things. <laughs> but it's a whole brand new case. Uh, I need to make the screen bigger. I'm probably going to keep those in This, I don't know what the heck it is. Just look kind of neat. What's it say on it? It is. It says Pressed O Light. L I T E. It's the box says it's Air Products Company. There's a manual here. It's not a little air gauge door thing, is it? Air acetylene appliances. An acetylene torch. It's part it of it. Uh, Because there was a Presto light all run together as one word later. I wonder if they just spelled it differently in the beginning. It's with hyphens in between the words. And they may have just gotten rid of those. That was kind of the thing back in the day. And yeah, it's just a cool, it has nice plastic to it. Nice vintage plastic. All right. 
Oh, here you go. It is part of. It is part of an acetylene torch. Um, here, well, shit. Can I do screen sharing here? That oh, doesn't matter. So tiny. Huh? Probably not since you're so tiny. Yeah, I'll just send. There you go, Eric. Yeah, I got, I got, it. I got it. Forty-nine dollars. Unless you got all the hosing and the regulator, which I mean, that would be. No, I, I just got that. You're basically gonna in there. It's probably a thirty-dollar piece, so. Torch handle. This yeah. is goggles, goggle lenses, general scientific equipment. These are brand new, I think, just a little dirty. But you get the idea. Oh, okay. Those are good. Yeah. Those are good. Steam pump the crap out of those. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got three of these. These are. Blue screen. Oh, hex wrench kit. These are just kind of cute. What's the name of the company? Watsco. Watsco makes. They make regulators for. They make something. Uh, those are uh, about twenty bucks a pop. Oh, cool. Put cute. Are you gonna put cute in the title? Three of those. Oh yeah, absolutely. Nothing like being manly with tools and cute. All right. Next. A long wrench hex wrench kit. Let's go this, ring the bell on something. This is neat. This is a Stanley level, early 70s. What, Brian? Stanley. Like the power, power drill. drill. I knew this was coming. <laughs> you knew Andrew Dice Clay was getting marked in there somewhere. This looks like uh, two feet. And it, it's cool. It's brand new. It still has the, the manual tucked in it. Kind of neat. <laughs> we have a bus stitch. Stapler on. Stapler. This Hang is used, but it's kind of neat in the box still. Hang on to that. Because it seems like every time I get rid of a staple gun, heavy duty staple gun, I go, where's a staple gun? I know, totally. <laughs> That's actually, that was a T5? That was a T5-8 tacker. Does it say outward cinch? It doesn't say. That's probably, good God, why does somebody, oh, they included staples with it. It's probably 25-ish. Shipped total landed price. I forget what this is. Um, oh, this is one of those um, fish tape reel pullers. Oh, those are nice. Ideal, yeah. This is brand new. That's probably 50 bucks. Yeah, oh, no, it's not brand new. I'm sorry. What brand? It is. That's funny. The one side's like pristine. Uh, I do. Yeah. yeah, you're probably looking at forty to fifty dollars on that. Cool. Is it Thirty-one dash zero zero eight. Fifty feet. I'm gonna say twenty-five or thirty shipped. I, the fish tapes have gone down. Twenty-nine shipped or twenty-nine plus shipping, thirty dollars. Yeah, the last couple ones I bought, I kind of almost made the decision I wasn't gonna pick them up, and not not bashing you or anything, but I wasn't gonna pick them up anymore because the price really dropped on fish tapes the last couple years. For, I don't know why. I guess people buying Harbor Freight bull crap. Yeah, Ideal's a good brand. You never go wrong with it. Pipe vendors. Uh, pipe vendors, yeah. Benfield Bender, rigid yeah. with. This one looks like it's new. Uh, used are like twenty bucks. And there's three of them, three heads. Just ones in the box. Cha-ching! Cha -ching! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? Uh, it's just me. How to sell. <laughs> it's always a good thing, right? Ding! <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Next we have C Tech. I don't know what this is. Roto split. BX, oh, BX cable cutter. Nice. There we go. The Roto oh, split. Glory. Three used distant porter hacksaws. These All are right. really nice. Distants are what about twenty bucks a pop? Yeah, I haven't sold one for quite a while, but I would think that they're used with good shape. I like the green handles. They're number three six eight. Uh, yeah, about twenty dollars. Next, we have all these. There's twenty of them. Are they? They're called Snimp plastic tube cutter. It's just like a little cutter, like a tube cutter, like in a clamp style thing. A little blade right there. Kind of cute. These are all new rigid um, pipe taps. Take one out. What do you have to get for those? Uh, these quarter piece. Yeah, I don't really even remember. About eight to ten dollars a piece. Are they, yeah. all, are they I, all different sizes or same size? I'd assumed at least five. They're all, they're all well. There's maybe three different sizes here. One, two, three, four different sizes here. They had ten bucks on them, but that's uh, I didn't pay anywhere near that. There's half your money back right there. So will you lock those up in the lots of different sizes or list them individually? Eh, it depends on what they're going for. Usually, if it's under ten dollars, I'll lot stuff. In the dusty pile. <laughs> As you can see, I didn't move to the dusty pile. I'm just saying, you did or didn't? I did not. I'm just saying, okay, let me rephrase that. Hey, I'm interested in those. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, taps is literally like stuff I sell. So. I know, but you know me, I like small, I like small, small, lightweight, and multiple quantities. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> Serious. This is a sure set multi purpose fastening tool. In the box. There it is. Out of the box. Out of the box. <laughs> the instructions are there too. Um, wow. Some people ask like forty five dollars for it, some people ask ten bucks. Yeah, that means it's like five dollars. Um so Next, we have a rigid quarter inch uh, die head, number 00R. And there she is in all her glory. That is pretty warm. 50 bucks. Very good. All right. This, oh, this is another dusty box. This is um, yes. brand new uh, switches, light switches. Yes. You know, wall mount. Assuming they're bake light or something interesting. What were they? They're circle light. Out of Trenton, New Jersey. I mean, I can open one up and show you. I just, you know, 
they're in the box and they're a lot. So, three of you need. Yeah, those are older. Oh, yeah, I like those. Okay, done. I think no it's like a brand new light switch or something. I'm like, no. It says no click on it on the back. All right, now we got. Okay. Big case socket wrenches. Yeah, this is just. Um, I'm sure this is like yeah Taiwan. Just a little Taiwan tool. I thought it was just cute. Oh, that's a that's for it's a in the box. plumbing socket wrench set for uh. Yeah. Awesome. What I was sold pre-owned best offer on twenty six ninety nine was seven thirty five shipping. Cool. Replacing valves. Hey, you can get your you can fix your plumbing around your house now. I'll do plumbing. All right, these are all the punches and and the for, um, uh, another one of those hand um, uh, punches. <laughs> it's for one of those hand punches, but for like a bigger one than the one I showed earlier. Because they're pretty large, they come in with like a variety of sizes. Hold on, let me just put these in my bag. Next, we have two more Vermont indexes. These are just the boxes. Oh, OK. But clean as a whistle. One's in the original box still. All right, these I just got for myself. Those are quick cleaning brushes. Oh, those are gross. Yeah, I use this kind of stuff all the time. It's not a full box, there's just like four in there. Like eight, ten bucks a piece, though. Cool. Maybe I was not. <laughs> Yeah, four boxes. Conduit support clamps. Yeah, Thomas and Betts clamps. Conduit support clamps. Did you, say, did you say condom support clamps? Conduit. Uh, you're probably looking at. You're gonna have to sell them by the box, probably get the best money out, but you're probably looking at thirty dollars a box, maybe. Those are those are a little different type. Those are I'm just trying to sell ten of them for twenty-eight dollars. Yeah, they're all full. I don't see a oh it's a ten count. Number seven one one. Yeah, I I don't want you to get twenty, twenty-five bucks a box. We got two of these. They're uh, one's opened, one's still sealed, but it, it's it hasn't been used. If someone just opened it, probably during the sale. It's a um, wire mold. Oh, for use with wire molds, five hundred and seven hundred. It's a six hundred B uh, bender. Did you say new or used? Uh, they're new. One is the box is open. 50, 50 used, 100 new. Or yeah, 80, 50 to 100 somewhere in there. So, yeah. Do you remember what you gave for those? Uh, they were marked 50, so worst case, they were 25, but more likely they're about 20. She was so nice. She, like, after adding everything up, she knocked down a bunch of money. So, it's 
which means you'll get like 125 a piece for them because you always get like crazy super good prices. No, that's you. <laughs> All right, here we got another dusty box. Yes. <laughs> This is like same thing, single yep. pull, no click, quiet switch. Yep. What'd you pay for those? Just I paid a hundred. Just. <laughs> 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 you actually fall for that one? I don't care. You know, we're always fair on prices back and forth. I just take a week to pay. <laughs> he doesn't pay me until he sells it. I forgot. <laughs> I had sold a bunch of it. I had sold a bunch of it and paid for paid for it ahead of time. <laughs> Dude, I I have no idea what these are. Like I said, I'm wow. not very I'm very not very knowledgeable with this construction type. Of What's this on the side? Oh, I can't see that. It says it's drills. Yeah. A lot of them. But they're weird. They're almost like reamers, but they're not. It's a raw drill bit. Does it have a ring, like a bird type bit on the end? It's got like a point, but it's not like a, it's not like a sharp point. And it's shaped more like a reamer. I don't know if you can see that on camera. What about now? Let me see the other end. It's like um, a little taper. They're for rotary hammers and things like that. They're vintage route plugs, route drill bits. They were great for placing bolt and rivets and stuff. They have a tapered end that fits in the drill holder and seats. Uh, I just lost my place because I clicked see more. Something. The ones I'm seeing sold are all coming from... Uh, United Kingdom, so you're probably looking at about twenty bucks for a couple of them. Well, I sitting there, so the box says fifty, but uh, one's almost to the top and one's about halfway. Yeah, they're selling them by the piece, you know, one or two at a time, and they're getting you know twenty dollars total for them. Yeah, I had a feeling these were pretty good. Yeah, raw bits. I like consumables. Definitely a. Uh... $10 a piece is probably what you're looking at. Very neat. So these two paid for the whole thing. Yeah. Let me get your link to verticalarchaeology.com. Yeah, I found them on eBay. So that is it explains a little bit what they do, which it still doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but oh damn, this hose fell out from that kit. Oh, it's buried. So they're for, for masonry? Philip Leitner said they are rock drills, so maybe that's what a roll is used for. Well, that really? Yeah, so that's pretty much everything behind me, plus uh, a few boxes on the side there, not too many. Right. So the so the rolls were used before carbide and stuff like that masonry bits came out uh, for drilling holes in concrete, maybe stone that are sized to fit various types of anchors. The Rawl company was the originator of the concept, and Rawl plug or Rawl anchor has become sort of a generic name. Huh? So yeah, you spent three sixty. You're probably looking twelve, thirteen hundred bucks. Yeah, I mean, you know, sounds good. It's kind of, you know, uh, lower end stuff for the most part. So I'm going to keep it on the back shelves until I, you know, get to that. Oh, I would throw up like, like the, the kits that you have. Those would be easy to list. And they're clean. They're brand new. You just got to take some few photos, get those up. And then like all, like the Ralph Dritz bits, that's the stuff I kind of get back to. And We'll see. I'm not sure what I want to do just yet, just because um, I have – one, two, three, four other shelves full of tools before I get to this. If I just go in order of when I'm buying, hey, I kind of like to do that. Finally shows back up on YouTube. What? Macho Green. Remember we ran into him at the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Nice guy. 
kind of one. But I'm trying with the tools. I try to go in order so I don't have any like death pile per se. <laughs> no. Why would you do that? So yeah. So this will be on shelf four or five. So it might be a bit before you see it on eBay. It's rainy day stuff. Or I might get motivated and list it first. Who knows? <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason sometimes. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's the kind of inventory. Like some of the stuff that I picked up yesterday and that thing. I mean, some of it's really exciting. It'll get it'll get a bunch of money back. Like you'll probably list some of that stuff though. The stuff that's a little more exciting, won't you? Yeah, maybe. Especially the stuff like those bits that are in large quantity because those are going to take like a year to sell. <laughs> so pipe vendors that are worth a hundred bucks a piece, and then just throw the rest of the stuff on a shelf for a rainy day or whatever. Yeah, maybe like put up enough to cover the cost of the uh, trip, and then the rest I'll tuck away. But I mean, don't get me wrong; it's four shelves. It's not going to take me that long to get to. Maybe two months. You know, I, I don't know. I've, I've just been trying to be a little more disciplined with keeping it. Stuff comes in, sell that stuff. Like you know, just make it a line. I don't know. It's something that's, new. I, that's, I don't tough know. To do. that's tough. To Obviously, do I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, <laughs> I look at Eric and I get depressed. <laughs> you should see my dining room right now. Oh, you got it filled up? Yeah, but I've, I've been working on listing the stuff today that I picked up two days ago, and I've been kind of hauling it in here a bit by bit. Well, I was showing Eric a bunch of it. And so I, as I was like, wait a minute, let me show you something else. And I go in the diner and get another box. And finally, I thought, you know, it all has to come in here at some point. Isn't it? Yeah. It's not bad. I mean, it wasn't really. It was the Jetta trunk at back seat and the box in the front seat full. So, I mean, it was a decent load, but not overwhelming. I mean, for me, this was a tiny hole. I mean, this just went in my back seat, and I still had plenty of room back there. So. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of goes to show you, though. You know, you go to on the very last day of an estate sale that was actually pretty decent, and you can still turn around and, and throw two or 300 bucks at something and make, you know, $1,000, $1,200. Yeah, but it's weird stuff, though, and that's where yeah. I, three oh. of us always get – it's knowing stuff that other people don't know or don't yeah. want to venture out toward. See, even though I'm not a specialist in this type of tools, it's – I can tell when something's decent tool and something's just total crap. So, you know, I just kind of go with my right. instinct, you know, whatever you want to call it. The eye, as I like to call it. The eye. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, not a bad little day. I needed to get out anyway. I mean, it's been like cabin fever. I've been cooped up in here for months. <laughs> well, the last sale was the one we went to in January, Eric, right? Well, I went to that one in uh, Connecticut, so that was one more for me. But, yeah, I really haven't gone out that much either. Yeah. I picked up a few things here and there, but I've been trying to, I've been trying to work through backlog myself. That's what up until this last little pick. That's basically what I was doing was just kind of hammering away at the stuff that I already had. But then it gets to a point though where like the stuff you have that you have left is not sexy. It's not fun. It's not you know whatever. And you got to get out and pick. I think we're all three kind of like that. You got to get out and and go do something new, or you're going to go nuts. Yeah, it was a nice day. I needed some fresh air. I was like fifty fifty up until the last second. You know, I was just, no, I'll stay home and do listings. And I was like, man. And then I walked the dogs, and it was such a nice day out. I was like, man, I just feel like going out and taking a drive. You should have taken the dogs with you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah, in, in fact, before that sale in January, Eric, the last thing I bought was all the, the video game stuff in, that in was, May. That was in May. Yeah. <laughs> it took me from May to January just to sell that. And I still have. You see, oh, not even sold at all. You still got about, what, 300 more lots to be, you could probably put together? Uh, no, maybe more like 150, I would think. But, you know, uh, I got tired of it. I need to, like, switch to something else. For so, I got tired of making all that money. I know. No, it's good money. It's not bad. I shouldn't complain. But, you know, it's like I also get that craving to go out and buy stuff, too, you know. The thrill of the hunt, you know. <laughs> it's always nice to go out and pick up a few things. I mean, you don't have to buy a lot, but just to 
to remind yourself that you know there's still there's always going to be good stuff out there. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll wrap this up. Anyone want to say any final words or words? Word. Yeah. I don't. I don't feel like saying anything anyway. Banana finds. That's right. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to, to Jason if you're not subscribed. Although you're probably on the way, you promised might be subscribed because he doesn't. Yeah, probably. So pass pass his name around at least, you know. And don't forget Eric's name, and you know. Everybody I put a post that. over on my page telling everybody to come over here and watch it. Um, I don't know; it's a community post. I don't know if anybody pays attention to any of those, but. Yeah, I'm going to take out an ad in the Penny Saver for my next video. <laughs> we have the thrifty nickel here. All right, everybody. Have a good day. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. See you.